Hi guys, it's Hector and Matt here with the Boys and Girls Club of Western Nevada. Uh, today we are, or actually first of all, miss you guys, hope you guys are staying safe, washing your hands, uh, following all these guidelines. I know it's a little difficult, but um, we're all trying to get this uh, through this together. Uh, Matt? Yeah, so today is the first official day of spring break for both Carson City and Carson Valley. So we hope you guys have some different stuff, fun plan. I know it's still difficult because you're stuck at home, um, but hopefully you have some different fun stuff planned throughout this week to make it feel like spring break and you guys have a great time. We have some fun stuff planned that Hector and I have been working on. Um, so every day this week is gonna have a different theme. So today is Crazy Sock Day. So we want you guys to take pictures of you in your crazy socks and send them to us either on Facebook or through uh, email at info at BGCWN. Um, and we'll have a different theme each day that we'll be posting on Facebook. Also, every day is gonna have a different field trip, a virtual field trip. So today we're gonna be taking a trip to the San Diego Zoo in beautiful San Diego, California. Um, and we'll send you a link on how to attend that virtual field trip. And there'll be a different virtual field trip each day of this week for spring break, as well as the awesome activities we've been bringing you so far. And speaking of awesome activities, what are we doing today, Hector? Today we are doing puffy sidewalk chalk paint. Um, so this is our first time making it, so we're gonna learn as we go here together. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, what we're gonna need is a mixing bowl, um, some measuring cups to measure out, make sure that you're using the right amount, some water, a spoon to mix it all, a funnel to make it a little bit easier to pour into our water bottle. We'll need an empty water bottle and then some dish soap and some flour. flour and then also either washable paint if you have washable paint at home or if you don't you can just use some regular food coloring that's what we're going to use today just so we can make it a little bit more bright for you guys and then you'll also need something unless you have a fancy old ketchup bottle or something you can use that's empty we're going to use a water bottle so we're going to have to poke a hole in it so you can use a screwdriver you can use a pen um, if you have your parents around and they can help you, you can use a knife to cut a hole in the top, whatever uh, you prefer to do, but I got some screwdrivers out here today. So, first step. Uh, let's add, it's one cup of flour? Yes, yeah, uh, I think we'll do water first. Water first? So, water first, you need however much you want to make, it's one cup to one cup for each recipe. So we're going to triple it and we're going to do three cups of water. So you're going to take your measuring cup, we have a measuring cup here with all the way up to five cups. We're gonna do three cups of water. So you just pour your three cups of the water and then we can do flour. flour. So we need, we did three cups of water. So I think we need three cups of flour. So this is a half a cup. So I need six of these. Six of those. And when you guys uh, do flour, you wanna make sure it fills all the way up to the top. Um, so you make sure you're using enough and not shorten yourself a little bit. So just make sure it goes all the way to the top. And we're going to put three cups of flour in there. Wind's not cooperating with us. <laughs> we wanted to do this outside. We haven't been outside for one of these activities yet. It's nice to get outside. One more. Those are that's, three cups. Wait, did you say that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's oh, okay. three cups. Gotcha, cool. Uh, so now what you're gonna do is you'll take your spoon and you'll mix up your water and flour mixture until the flour is all dissolved up. It'll take you a little bit to mix it, but you wanna make sure that all the flour is mixed in. So while Matt's mixing, guys, uh, let us know in the comments below how you guys are doing, what you guys are up to. Um, send us your crazy sock pictures. I'm sure uh, you guys got some good good crazy socks that you want to show everybody. It'd be awesome to see them. Um, like I said, I miss you guys. I know Matt misses you guys, and we miss having you guys here at the club. So hopefully soon we can uh, get back to normal somewhat. It's taking a little bit longer. Don't have a very big spoon. If you guys have like a kitchen, um, like a baking spatula or something that might be a little bit easier. We're using a small spoon, so it's taken a little bit longer, but we're not in the kitchen, so we don't have all the supplies that would make it easier. So after this, man, what goes in next? So next you're gonna wanna do your dish soap. So any kind of dish soap that you have, 
Doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter what scent, what color, as long as it's dish soap, not hand soap, you wanna use dish soap. And you're gonna need to, uh, however many recipes you're doing, so we did, th we did it times three, so we are going to need three tablespoons of dish soap. So if you just take any regular cereal spoon out of your, um, out of your kitchen, unless you have measuring spoons, do you have a tablespoon in there? Yeah, right here. Perfect. We end up having a tablespoon, so we're gonna take our tablespoon, and we need three of them because we tripled our our recipe. So we need three tablespoons of dish soap. And the dish soap, A, helps it be a little bit smoother, and also it helps it be washable, so that when you go out and you use this puffy sidewalk chalk paint on your sidewalk or the driveway, you can take a hose later on. Uh, if you wanna create something new or you just need to clean it off, you can take a hose off and it should just wash off. So, There's three. you got three in there? Yep. All right, so then you can take your spoon again, and you're gonna mix that in real good. Make sure you don't see any of the color, you want it all mixed in. Okay, and now is the fun part. You get to make it whatever color you wanna make it. So Hector, we got purple, turquoise, green, yellow, or blue. What color should we do? Uh, let's go turquoise now. Huh? Turquoise, all right. So we got some turquoise food coloring. Be careful with this, guys. Yeah, make sure you uh, keep it away from your fingers. You don't wanna get it stuck on your fingers. That's why most of them come in a squeezy bottle like this. So you're gonna squeeze your food coloring in there. Maybe. Is there no turquoise? I think it might be dried up. No, let's try green then. All right, let's try a different color. Oh yeah, we got plenty of green in here. So we're gonna do green puppy paint. So you can put as much in there. If you want it to be dark, you can do dark. If you want it to be lighter, just put a few drops, however you want to do it. And then once you have your food coloring in there, again, you're gonna mix it up. Let me see that water bottle, man. I'm gonna try and start poking a, a hole through this so we have our water bottle ready to go. That should be good, right? Oh yeah, yeah, you don't want the hole too big. You want it to be just in the center of your water bottle, just enough to make it come out like you were squirting ketchup or something like that. looks green all right we got a nice light green color here so now what we're gonna do is you take your funnel and put it over your old used ketchup bottle or water bottle like we're using and you just pour your sidewalk chalk paint in there it's very thick guys you might have to wiggle it around there we go pour some more You don't have to fill it all the way up. And the cool thing about something like this is that if it's too liquidy for you and you wanna make it a little bit thicker, all you have to do is add some flour to it. Or if it's too thick, all you have to do is add a little bit more water to it. So now we got our puffy sidewalk chalk paint. Let's grab our phone. What are we gonna, what are we gonna write? Should we write BGC? Yeah, let's, let's try that out, Matt. Let's see. I'm not an artist like I've claimed in all the rest of my uh, art projects. We're just gonna take this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! I think we, oh! <laughs> well, that's how it's supposed to go. But uh, I kind of just made a mess. So uh, <laughs> anyways, have fun with it. The other thing you can do if you want to use like a paintbrush, you can use a paintbrush and, and do it either way. But um, either way, there's puffy sidewalk chalk paint. 
Hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, check out our, continue to check out our Facebook for field trips, virtual field trips, crazy dress days. We want you guys to participate just like if you were here for spring break. Hope you guys have an awesome one and Hector and I miss you and we'll talk to you soon. Bye See guys. Ya.